Desmos continues to improve and can now do vectors in 3D. So let's take a look. You can either get here by going to desmos.com forward slash 3D, or you can go right to desmos.com. Scroll down until you see that 3D icon for the 3D calculator. I'm just gonna X this out. And I wanna start by giving Desmos my initial points and my terminal points. I want each of my vectors to be in standard position. So I definitely want the point 0, 0, 0. And let's define a few more points. So I've got my three points, but what I really want is for B, C, and D to be the terminal point for my vectors. I'm gonna define a couple of vectors here. And to do that, I'm gonna give them names because I wanna do some operators as well. I'm gonna type in V followed by one. It will automatically subscript. So V1 is equal to, I'm gonna type the word vector parentheses, and then you want initial point comma terminal point. So I'm gonna do initial point comma terminal point A to B. So I don't need point B anymore. Let's get rid of point A as well. And that gray is really hard to see. I'm gonna click and hold on that circle and let's change this to orange. Okay, so there's the first one. And then the same idea. So V2 is equal to a vector, initial point, initial point comma terminal point. Um, I again want to get rid of these points here. So there's that one. And then one more vector. Um, V3 is equal to vector initial point comma terminal point. Um, I can get rid of point D here and it looks like vector two and three are right on top of each other, but they actually aren't. If I click and hold on our 3D coordinate system, so click, hold and drag, I can see that they really are three separate vectors there. I'm also gonna change my viewing screen just a little bit. I'm gonna click on the wrench. I wanna get rid of that XY plane so we can see those vectors just a little bit better. Okay, so there's my vectors. I'm gonna leave it like that. Let's do some operations. The first operation that I wanna do is to add two vectors together. So V1 plus V2. Notice that it's cut off, it doesn't have that arrow, so that tells me I need to fix my zoom. Let me zoom out a little bit so we can see that one there in purple. I can also do, I'm gonna get rid of that one, I can also do a scalar multiple. To do a scalar multiple, I'm gonna do, let's do um, two times V1, and you can see that gray one is the scalar multiple of the orange vector V1 can do this with a slider as well. So instead of two, let's call this K. This is a great way to explore scalar multiples. And I do wanna add that slider. And as I change the slider, you can see that it becomes negative going in the opposite direction and then positive going in the same direction. Um, okay, let's get rid of that and rid of that. We can also do the magnitude. To do the magnitude, we're gonna ask for the length of that vector. So I do length parentheses and I can do the length of say vector one. If I want the unit vector in the direction of V1, I can do V1 divided by, so forward slash, length of V1 parentheses, and then it gives that to me in green. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see better. So there's that light green unit vector right there. Whoops, and I don't want that to keep spinning. I'm gonna get rid of a few of these so we just have vectors one and two there. We can do the dot product and the cross product. Let's do that dot product first. So V1, the dot product returns a scalar. So V1, to do the dot product, we're just gonna use the asterisk for multiply. V1, V2, and that dot product is equal to three. To get the cross product, we're gonna do something really similar, but we're gonna do V1 and then type C-R-O-S-S -S for the cross product, V2. We should see, let me change the color of this. I'm gonna click and hold, and I'm gonna change this one to green. And then let's also zoom so we can see those vectors better. We can see that that cross product, the green vector, is in fact the vector that is perpendicular to both vectors one and two. Play with this and explore. I've got another video on Desmos in 3D here.